What do you do when you can't just settle for one man? You have to have many, many men. Sometimes we have to indulge in the darker side of life. Let's get started. Sometimes, sometimes being good gets a little boring. Oh boy. Sometimes being being good gets a little boring. So right out of the gate, right out of the gate, she wants to talk about the fact that being good is boring. And therein lies the problem. Today's women have ADD and ADDD. That's attention deficit disorder. Okay. Being a good girl, it would appear is boring. It's boring actually loving your boyfriend. It's boring to do right by your husband. It's boring to have sex with the same man for five, maybe six years. It, all, of, all of these things appear to be boring. And as we all know, women crave drama. So much so that they will actually manufacture drama out of nowhere for no reason. But now, it didn't always used to be that way. Guys, girls didn't used to crave drama. Just being a dutiful, doting housewife, taking care of the kids was more than enough for women to not get bored. But with the advent of the sewing machine, which doesn't even get used anymore, the advent of the washers and dryers, the advent of the vacuum cleaners, all of these man-made inventions, and I do mean man-made inventions, made the, house of a, uh, made the life of a housewife a lot more easy. It didn't take her all day to clean the house. It now takes women, if they're even cleaning the house, hour and a half, maybe two hours to clean the entire house. It takes, what, 15 minutes to vacuum the floor when it used to take two, three hours to sweep even the carpet? The easier women's lives get, the more bored they become. So when a woman feels herself be becoming bored in a relationship, she feels like she has to do something to sort of spice things up. Some women create drama out of nothing. Some women decide to cheat. Well, it appears that Miss Lester here likes to cheat. So again, right out of the gate, she's letting us know what kind of what kind of her what, what kind of a person she is, and what her audience entails. I have cheated on a lot of people. There is absolutely no shame. There is no remorse. There's no humility. There's none of that. It's almost like she's saying the fact that she's cheated on a lot of people. She's almost wearing it as a badge of honor. Let's continue. I have. What do you do when you can't just settle for one man? You have to have many, many men. Oh, my God. What do you do when you can't just settle for one man? You have to have many, many men. There again, there's the gluttony. There's the gluttony. Nope. You can't have one man. You have to have many, many men. Here's the real issue. This is why women who sleep around never make good wives, girlfriends, and mothers. There is a line of demarcation in terms of a woman's notch count. And that line of demarcation is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of five. No woman has ever, a woman has either slept with one guy or she has slept with 600. That's all there is to it. I'm sure there are women out there, who, few and far between, but I'm sure that, 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 that there are women out here that have slept with two guys, three guys, maybe four guys. But there are very few women who have slept with five guys who haven't slept with another 78. Today, I'm going to teach you how to cheat and get away with it. Today, I'm going to teach you how to cheat and how to get away with it. It's very difficult to be equally in love with both of them. It is impossible to be equally in love with both of them. A woman can only be in love with one man at a time. It, it, it just doesn't work that way. Well, I'm in love with two people. What do we do? No, you're not in love with two people. One guy takes care of all of your sexual needs. One guy takes care of all of your non-sexual needs. This is called alpha bucks, beta bucks. She really wants to be with the guy who takes care of her sexual needs, but depending upon her age, depends upon which one she gravitates towards. The younger a woman is, the more they gravitate toward the alpha chads. The older they are, the more they start to gravitate towards the beta Brian to the world. That's how this works. Right? My, my, my ex-husband said this to me, like, I didn't cheat on him, we didn't cheat on each other, but like. I didn't cheat on him, he didn't cheat, we didn't cheat on each other. So why is he your ex-husband? <laughs> this woman wants us to believe. She's sitting here teaching us, she, she, she's sitting here telling, teaching women how to cheat. 
how to cheat and get away with it. Now, my ex-husband, I didn't cheat on him. He didn't cheat on me. Yes. Yes, you did. You just said you've cheated on a lot of people and said it with pride. So you expect us to believe that you didn't cheat on your husband? You didn't take the sanctity, you didn't take the commitment of a relationship seriously enough not to cheat, but you expect us to think that you actually took the sanctity of marriage seriously? No. And again, women lie all the time. Just because a woman says it doesn't mean it's true. A woman, dude, a woman will say all sorts of things. All sorts of things, especially when it comes to, we were just especially when it comes to past relationships. So for this woman who's making a video telling women how to cheat and get away with it, for her to think that we would actually believe that she didn't cheat on her husband is laughable. He's talking about it. And he's like, the bad thing about cheating is that it means you have been making decisions based on a reality that didn't actually oh exist. God. What what the f does that even mean? This is the problem with women. This is the problem with women. <laughs> women are very, women are very. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to say that they're smart, but they're but they're very good at navigating the sexual marketplace because, of course, they're women. Women are not good manipulators, guys. So for her to sit here and tell us that her and her husband, who she didn't cheat on, says that well, when you cheat. You're creating a false reality. Oh my God, mind blown. Oh, get the out of here. Sometimes we have to indulge in the darker side of life, right? Of course Because you I know you guys are tired of getting manipulated. Here I hear go. it all the time. You're tired of getting cheated on. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Here comes that old falsehood. Men cheat more than women. This is the age, this is the age old debate. No, women cheat a hell of a lot more than men. So you mean to tell me that 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 the gender that has less that is that is more impulsive and has more uh, and has more opportunities is not going to cheat more? Of course, women cheat more. Of course, they cheat more. This woman is living proof of that. We have women on YouTube making instructional videos on how to cheat and get away with it. But then she wants to get all psychological. Do we do we become the cheater? Do we do we become what we are we are the most afraid of? And what's her answer? Well, yeah, it could be. No. That's the thing. Women cheat for one reason and one reason only. Because they can. There's no psychological reason. There's no issues. No, 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 no. Women cheat because they can get away with it. That's it. So let's look at the giveaways for cheating. Uh-uh. Now she's supposed now she's about to start giving up the game here. She's going to start preempting these cheating behaviors. Right? You have a shift. It's not only a shift in like schedule, it's a go. shift in behaviors, patterns and most importantly attitude. Cuz right, sometimes people are just not great at monogamy. They're weak, they're horny, they need a shift. Let's go back. Shift in behaviors, patterns and most importantly attitude. See, what she's doing here is she's letting women know, hey, if you don't want to get caught cheating, and she'll she'll touch on this a little bit more. She'll touch on this a little bit more a little later on. But what she is telling them is that, listen, if you don't want to get caught cheating, you have to be wary. You have to be cognizant of the things that you're doing, your schedule, your patterns. You can't break the pattern. There are some women out here that are very, very good. At, they're cheating on their boyfriends with two, three different guys. But because their patterns are all the same, they never get caught. Now, not every girl can can cheat on that level, but most of them can. Most of them can absolutely cheat on that level. Dude, you you couple that with the fact that guys are absolutely clueless, and then you compound that with women making shaming statements. Well, if you if you don't trust me, if we don't have trust, we don't have anything. If you want to look at my phone, you're insecure. Oh. Right. Sometimes people are now she's going to give excuses for cheating. Why do people cheat? They're just not great at monogamy. They're weak. They're horny. They need a shit ton of attention. They have a flaccid ego. They have poor coping mechanisms for being alone, being bored, being stressed, whatever. And sometimes people cheat to get your attention. All of those things, all of those things that she just mentioned, lack of coping mechanisms, you're horny, you're alone, you're weak. This describes women, guys. Again, women are impulsive creatures. Then, of course, she tries to indirectly blame men again. You're weak, you're alone. Well, wait a minute. If you have a boyfriend, then why are you alone? And she'll probably get into more of that a little bit later. 
But already she's giving all of these excuses. Let's listen to these again. These are, she, she's already, she's preemptively giving these girls permission to give themselves permission to cheat. They need a shit ton of attention. They have a flaccid ego. They have poor coping mechanisms for being alone, being bored, being stressed, whatever. Bored, stressed, flaccid ego, blah, 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 poor, co poor coping mechanisms. As, me as human beings, we are all born with the, with, with the, we are born with, with the knowledge. We inherently understand the difference between right and wrong, right? When we're kids, they, like, nobody has to teach us how to lie to our parents. No one has to teach us how to, uh, how to mislead people. No, we just naturally know. We lie to our parents because we don't want to get in trouble, right? That's the reason why we do it. Women lie and sin on autopilot. Women cheat because they can, and they're amoral creatures. They're not immoral. They're amoral, which means they have no morality. They don't have good morals. They don't have bad morals. They just are. And when you're in a when 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 you're in a um, when you're in an environment like today's feminism, which literally glorifies cheating, encourages cheating, and enables cheating, of course, with the smartphone, this is this is the cesspool of the dating market that you get, guys. Get thousands of hours of content not found anywhere on patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. Link in description.